Hi, Coco. So, Mommy wrote a couple of letters, so I thought you could help me proofread. Is that something you're interested in? Okay. Dear A, Merry Christmas. I wanted to congratulate you on winning the Best Post Funder Award for 2023. Tied with AT. I can't believe it has already been several years now that we have worked in post funding together. I think the past couple of months specifically have had their ups and downs. While at times we were under a lot of pressure to deliver, while being only a department of two, I think it definitely paid off in the end. Your ability to understand different loan scenarios and at times dig deeper to analyze what exact events happened to the loan are definitely signs that you are able to comprehend the loan on a more in-depth level. When we first met a few years ago, we were both struggling to establish ourselves at the company. We both strive to have others respect us for our knowledge, and I think we have both been able to achieve that this year. People are no longer questioning our skills, and I believe our input holds some kind of merit. I see people viewing you in a new light and as someone who can provide them with encouragement and share your expertise. My hope has always been that I will be able to lead you in a way in which you can eventually pave your own road to success. I notice that when there is too much codependency involved, it becomes harder to establish ourselves as individuals. Your work has always been consistent and you pay great attention to detail. Work-wise, I cannot think of any other advice to give you. Since you are such a kind person, I know that you work very hard to make those around you happy. I just want to ensure that you are taking care of yourself before others. If you're not well taken care of, you can't look after others around you. Also, you are the only one who will have your best intentions at heart. Sometimes it is painful to give people news that they don't want to hear or isn't the most beneficial outcome. However, I think we always need to follow our heart. Once our inner heart clashes with our actions, I believe that's when we start to face difficulties as we experience self-doubt due to being inhibited from acting with free will and we may start to question ourselves. I know that you will always make the right decisions, whether it is work-related or not. If something feels weird, it is normally an indication that there is a misalignment between your heart, brain, and actions. I am always here too if you want to discuss anything. I want to thank you once again for your hard work and always believing in me. Sometimes I find myself at a crossroad and unsure of which road to take. Your support has always meant so much to me. I hope that I can do the same for you. I am so excited for 2024 and what it will bring us. Hopefully it brings more loans, more prosperity, and more resources for the company to become even more established. Thanks again and Merry Christmas. Okay, and then there's the next one. Dear A.T., Merry Christmas. I wanted to congratulate you on winning the Best Post Funder Award for 2023 tied with A. It has been such a pleasure working with you. I know that we have not worked with each other for a long time, but I think I am getting a firmer grasp of your work style every day. I feel that you fit in very well with our team. I think the quality of your work is extraordinary. It shows in your emails, notations, and questions that you are not missing any details when reviewing the files. You are asking the underwriters specific questions and your background knowledge slash skills are definitely shining through. Your verbiage is precise and succinct, accompanied with screenshots that get directly to the point. I am noticing that the quantity of workload that you are able to handle is increasing every day. 
While quality should definitely be present as a baseline, the ability to handle a high volume of loans is also very important. I see a lot of myself in you. It reminds me of when I used to work at a previous company and I will continue to hit F5 on the keyboard to refresh the pipeline so I can snatch up the loans as soon as I see them. I used to joke around that I work so hard because I receive commission on the number of loans I work on. In actuality, I just wanted to work on as many loans as I possibly could so that I could gain as much experience and knowledge as possible. As a result of working with you, I have started to reflect back on the way I review loans and question whether I am giving them as much attention as I should be. You are truly a great role model for our team and we are very lucky to have you. The only thing I can foresee holding you back is if you are hungry. When I am hungry, I cannot focus at all. I like to give at least 130% of my energy into my work. When I am hungry, I am only able to give about 60%, not even half. If I end up eating at 3 p.m., that means most of the work I completed in the morning was either done very slowly or I may make unnecessary mistakes due to inability to focus. Please feel free to munch on breakfast slash snacks at your desk while you work or take a little break and you go and go to the break room as well anytime. If we don't take care of ourselves, we cannot dedicate ourselves completely to our work. I can see you going very far in the future, and I am so glad that I get to be a part of your journey. I am always more than happy to share with you whatever knowledge I have, and in regards to the aspects I do not know, we can come up with a solution together. Wishing you a Merry Christmas once again, and I hope you have a lovely holiday with your friends and family. Okay, Coco, what did you think? Oh, you, you thought they were okay? Coco, you're such a good listener. You're like, it got a little long there for a second. I know, Coco. Well, Mommy did have to um, cut the video and then restart because she didn't have storage. And, yeah. And it was two letters, too. So, it was two letters to uh, two post funders. Because there's two post funders on Mommy's team, and they both tied for the Best Post Funder Award. Isn't that nice? So nobody gets left out, because you don't want to just give an award to one person, and then the other one doesn't get one. Well, to be completely honest, Mommy just wanted to give them, like, a nice, you know, like a... Not nothing much, but like a, you know, just like a Merry Christmas, kind of like a, you know, token of appreciation. But Coco, do you know sometimes, like... When you prepare gifts, and then you go to them, and then that person didn't prepare a gift, and then it gets awkward. Or like if somebody gave mommy a gift, and I'm like caught off guard because I didn't prepare anything for them. And then it's like, oh, I didn't get you anything. Well, this one, um, I'm hoping it'll be, you know, not awkward because it's not a Christmas gift. It's an award being presented to them. What do you think? Thank you, Coco. You are so supportive. And you're such a good proofreader, aren't you? Uh-oh, what is this? What is this hair? There we go. Thank you, Coco. Coco's the best proofreader. 